Hello, we are on our daily run, our daily coffee run. And how are you? I'm hoping that all is well. Uh, things are always well for me. And even in the, if they're not well, I still say that they are because I try to speak it as if though it were. So today is a good day. And we always want the days to start off good, right? That's always like the intention. Regardless of what happens throughout the day, we always want the day to be a good day. So with that intentionality, we say that. Even if it goes to shit, right? Because <laughs> things happen. But your intentionality was to have a good day. And because you want it to be good, you'll deal with things a lot different. That's what we talked about in one of the other um, conversations is the intentionality of wanting things to be good. And because you want them to be that way, you speak that into existence. Now, doesn't always happen because life be life right? <laughs> and because life be life it changes things. However... We just want the day to be a great day. We want every day to be good. You know, we don't always get it our way, but that's the expectation. So that's how we're going to start that. So my conversation today on the way to pick up our daily coffee, let's talk about boundaries. Boundaries are one of my absolutely favorite topics because people, one, don't understand boundaries. Two, when you decide to implement boundaries, it's always the recipient that has a problem with your boundaries. Or when you set boundaries, you don't respect other people's boundaries, right? So with that being said, I wanted us to, to hit on those topics as we drive to go get our coffee this morning. When you set boundaries, boundaries are there for you to protect your peace, to protect who you are, who you are, and make sure that you're good. So if anything happens throughout the day, anything is happening in your life, you can deal with it from a good space, um, a good space and a good place, you know, in your life and not dealing with it as, as if you were on the attack mode. You deal with it in, in a space where you're like, okay, this is what's happening. It'll be okay. It'll get better. Um, we'll see it through, right? You should have those type of mindsets when you think about boundaries. Now, when you set boundaries, you have to also respect other people's boundaries because you're not the only one setting boundaries. You're not the only one protecting your peace. So say, for example, if I am setting a boundary with you and say you normally ask me to take you to the store and you know what? Today, I just don't feel like going to the store or I just don't feel like going to the store with you, right? You have to respect that. You got to be okay with that. You got to know that every time I get up and go, I don't always have to take you with me. Every time I move, I don't always have to check in with you and ask you or share with you just so that you can go with me. I don't have to do that, right? So, as I say no to you or I tell you not today, you can't get mad or angry with me. You should just say okay and respect the fact that I just may want some personal space. That should be okay with you. Then... You have those persons where you set the boundaries and anytime they call, they're not even talking about the store example. They just, they just expect you to show up because that's who you have always been. And you're like, I don't want to today. I don't want to right now. And then they get upset with you. Or you have it where you set your boundaries. And you let's go back to the store example. And you're saying, no, you know, I'm not gonna take you to the store. But this is the very same person that every time they go to walk, they always call you and y'all go to walk. And then say they tell you, oh yeah, I already went walking. You can't get upset because they went walking without you. You get what I'm, where I'm trying to go with it? So it's not a tit for tat. Sometimes people just wanna do things alone. Sometimes people just wanna do things without you. Sometimes people just wanna show up in a different space in a, in, and in a different place. And no harm, no foul is caused to anybody. It's just that day and that time and that moment. But that doesn't mean that they're not, you know, still cool with you or y'all not still okay and that things aren't still great. It just means, listen, today just wasn't the day. So when we talk about boundaries, boundaries just means, you know, putting some parameters in place sometimes because a lot of times we need to take care of ourselves sometimes we need to sit alone sometimes we need to think sometimes we need to reevaluate life the people in our life the things we do in our life our jobs 
our um, entrepreneurship journeys, you know, all those things. And you can't do it being busy and being cluttered, having pillow talk or having people, random people or people that you're really cool with in your head. Doesn't really work that way. Sometimes you just need quiet. And sometimes you just need that peacefulness and something that you do daily that you may do with other people that maybe you need to do alone. And that's okay. That is absolutely okay. But I think so many people get so stuck in routine. Not I think, I know. We get so stuck in routine. We get so stuck in feeling obligated from how we've always shown up that if we go to change the game or change something different, we feel as if though we're doing somebody a disservice. And we're not. You're not doing anyone a disservice. You're actually looking out for yourself. You're actually taking care of yourself. You're actually putting yourself first. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. But you need to consider that and think about that when you're doing things. So that way you're not in a space and in a place of, I got to show up. I got to go here. I got to go there. I got to get up and take them to the store. I got to go walking today. Sometimes being still is the best thing ever. Sometimes, or a lot of times in my opinion, saying no is the best thing ever. You can say no without an explanation. You can say not today because you don't want to. It's okay. And you need to be okay with that. And a lot of people aren't because we get so obligated to those persons that are in our lives that we're always showing up for that we don't know how to back up and out of that thing, not even for a day. And that's really not healthy. It's not good. It's not kind for you. It's not a safe space and a safe place for you. It's really not a good fit for you. Why? Because you aren't prioritizing yourself. So when you're setting boundaries, Set boundaries. And the boundaries just means today I'm protecting my peace. Boundaries doesn't mean it's the end all, it's the say all. I can't change, I can't move, I can't break, I can't do this, I can't do that. Boundaries aren't that. Your boundaries will probably change every day. Depending on what you got going on in your life, your boundaries could change every hour. It just depends on you and what you have going on in your life. But set those boundaries, implement those boundaries, stand in your boundaries stand in them. It's okay. No is absolutely a complete sentence. There is no need for an explanation because guess what? That explanation isn't for you because you already know why you're saying no. That explanation is for the other person to make them feel good. To make them feel like you're, you're giving them a reason as to why you can't show up for them. But why is it that the reason I'm not showing up for you today is because I'm showing up for me. I'm going to say that again, and I'm going to pause again. Why is it that the reason I'm not showing up for you today is because I'm showing up for me? I am showing up for me. I want to be here for me. I want to be in the presence for me. And to do that means that maybe I can't show up for you today. And that's absolutely okay. That is absolutely okay. The problem with that is the person receiving that doesn't feel like that's okay because most people want what they want when they want it and because you've always shown up they expect you to continue to show up so the moment you say no not right now not today I can't do it I'm not gonna do it um, call me later call me tomorrow let's reschedule the moment you put them off there is a problem but you aren't the problem you are not the problem. The problem is the person who is receiving your no. So give me a sec. Put it up to the window. Hi, would you see all the Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am wonderful. May I please have a grande caramel macchiato hot in a venti cup with non-fat milk, upside down, extra hot extra foam and the drizzle just on the phone please I got you thank you it's gonna be six to eight for thank you You're welcome. all right so just think about that 
you have to think about, am I doing this for me? Am I doing this for them? Like, what, what am I doing? You really should consider that. Because what happens is, you lose yourself. And when you begin to lose yourself in things like that, then you're not happy anymore. You begin to do things out of obligation. You begin to do things out of frustration. And then you don't do it out of love and kindness. And I'm going to tell you, the results may be the same, but it won't feel the same. It won't give the same. When you're doing stuff out of love and kindness, the recipient can feel that. If you're doing things out of frustration frustration and obligation, they can feel that. And you don't want to do that. You don't want to be in that space. That's really not a healthy space to be in. So when you say no, you're not saying no to hurt somebody, to put somebody off, or to make them angry. You're saying no to protect your peace. Because today just may not be today. You may not feel like it. And that's okay. And I believe that so many people feel like because I've always shown up, that I always have to show up. Because I've always been there, I have to always stay there. Because I've always been your confidant. I've always been, you know, uh, the person to pick up the pieces. I've always been the person to listen to all the things. Now, we can be the person to listen to all the things, give all the decent advice. And listen, they don't listen to anything that you say. All they want you to do is hear them. But they don't want to hear you. And then here you go in this same cycle of listening to the same thing over and over again. Because why? They don't want to listen to what you have to say because some people really like living in the chaos and the drama. Contrary to popular belief, some people really like that space. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm one of those people where I'm like, peace be still. Give me a second. I'm about to pay for my coffee. Good morning. How are you? Doing good. Good. I can actually talk to you today. I'm not over there. I know. Yay. How you doing, late? Been doing Thank you. Right? Yes, yes. It's so good to see you. Can I get a stopper for this one? Yeah. So how you get on the window today? I just came in and then I like, go to the window. I was like, okay. See? That was so I can see you. Yeah, it was just it was just for the time. Thank you. Y'all have a great one. Bye, Miss Keisha. We'll see you next time. Okay. And being kind, I must. I must say this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna throw this in there. This doesn't have anything to do with our topic at the moment. But being kind takes you such a long way. Even when a person is being an asshole, and they probably got you on ten. If you're starting your day in just a good way because you are intentional about it, when somebody is taking you to ten, you can feel it before you get to ten, and you can divert that whole thing. Now, granted. You got some people that might take you to 20 <laughs> and you might not be able to, to divert that whole thing. But I'm telling you, just coming out with the intentionality of just being kind and just, just wanting to be okay. It's so good. And it just, it, it does this thing in your body um, where if people are, are on one or doing something, you're not necessarily feeding into their energy. Like you're not matching their energy, not initially. You know, don't get me wrong. Because listen, we're human first, right? And we, because we're human first, people can test us. People can try us. And as much as we're like, I'm not going to match your energy. I'm not going to give you what you give me. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. That's all great. But you got some people that will try you. And listen, sometimes you got to match that energy. <laughs> sometimes you got to match that energy. I'm not saying you will never do it. But I'm just saying, be intentional about how you show up for you and how you want to show up and how you want to live your life and how you want to be present, how you want to be able to say no and not have to give an explanation, how you want to be able to say yes, but do it out of love and kindness and not frustration and obligation, how you want to be present and, and be happy, right? Happiness is contagious. I love to smile. I smile all the time. And I love it. I, I love smiling. I love laughing. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I think it's healthy. I think it's healthy. If I'm sitting around me mugging all the time, then your mind is following your body actions. So if you're sitting around me mugging all the time, then guess what? You're thinking about all the mean shit. You're thinking about all the dumb things. All the things that are not healthy and good for you. But if you sit around smiling, 
Think about the thoughts that come to your mind. You start thinking about the most randomest things. That's hilarious. And people looking at you like, what you laughing at? And that's contagious too. Now, a person will ask you more about what you're laughing at than what they'll ask you what you're angry at. Excuse me, because of how angry you're looking at how you mean mugging. They may not want to know. Because guess what? They may be the recipient of that mean mugging. So just be kind, right? Be kind and set boundaries. Set boundaries so that you can protect your peace. Setting boundaries absolutely protects your peace. It sets you up for great days. Even if the days aren't great or the days aren't perfect, it sets you up for it. It gets you started with it. And I, and I hope that you are, are able to receive what I'm saying in the context in which I'm saying it. The intention is to just be good. The intention is to just have a great day. The intention is just to be happy. You can't control other people just like people can't control you. And because of that, you can't control all the things that happens in the world. But what you can have some control over is how you respond to it. How do you respond to it? Now, I'm not going to say that I don't respond on another level sometimes. Because sometimes people, situations, things can take you there. But I also try to get started with an intentional way so that if something happens, I'm not immediately going to 10. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't know what that outcome could lead to. There's so much in the world that I want to do, so many things in the world that I want to continue to see, you know, so many places I want to go, and I can't stunt my growth because of a situation or a person or something that's happening. I have to be intentional on how I deal with these things. So boundaries are absolutely important because with the boundaries, with doing things out of love and kindness, you find different ways on how to approach those situations so that you are not allowing yourself to get so caught up and losing yourself and not being happy or not being intentional with wanting to be happy. So set boundaries, set boundaries, implement the boundaries. Make sure that you're putting you first. Make sure that you are showing up for yourself. Making sure that, you know what? I am here. I am here for the long haul. I want to be happy. I want to set boundaries. I do want to show up for others, but I can only show up for them in the capacity that I can allow. That doesn't take away from me. That doesn't take away from me being me and allows me to continue to be happy and be able to move in a space where I can still assist you. I can still help you, but within the capacity that I have for you. And that's okay. Well, that's the end of our ride for today. So as usual, have a super fantastic day on purpose and in everything that you do, do it out of love and kindness. We'll talk soon.